added value to the company in terms of the data that we have on it, so we can go into our artificial intelligence and our analytics stage, which is where the further bit sort of comes in. At the moment, we're working to establish a number of academic and clinical partners, which are really important from us from a credibility perspective. And then we've got a trial lined up with Castlebell Community, so in the city of Birmingham, for October this year. Very deprived population, but a really important test bed for us to test the platform and get some really good feedback. So, why did I come on to Serendip? Well, it's all about collaboration. We're a business built on collaboration. I believe that public health is such a massive, massive problem, but it's really complex and no one business is going to tackle it on its own. Collaborate is really important to do that. And the West Midlands Academic Health, which are, which are our direct partners, it was all about gaining insight and understanding of healthcare problems. I didn't want to create a product where there was no problem for it to fix. For the other partners in here, and Joe from Barton has already got a, got a head start in this. We want people to test the platform in this data aggregation phase at the moment. So anyone who can help us with that, or those people that may be interested, that's my uh, real push at the moment. Thank you. I'm getting things 
Eastland Park Sales, so long we have the next six months as well work to deliver the, the next generation of that platform. We got invited to stand it just last week, which was a really exciting time for us. And there's a lot of smart people here in the room today. We really value the opportunity to work with them, banks like these factories and boards, uh, work towards solutions, but think engaging in this project can really help accelerate everything we are trying to achieve. And then onto the partners. Each of these partners represents a vision of what our ideal customer might look like. Having the, the potential to talk with them and have their knowledge help shape our products into something that can make a difference to their businesses uh, is just a really exciting opportunity for us. So that's it, I'm Phil with the Profile Business. If I sound a little bit off the ball today, I've been better in the last um, two days, so I'm kind of glad just to have made it here. <laughs> um, so, Blue Screen Pictures specializes in making and distributing entertainment programs. It's basically for smartphones and tablets. Uh, why? Uh, more than that in a second, but generally, we live in a world where the world of digital advertising is broken, and uh, we actually also in a world where there's a lot of fragmentation in the kind of platforms that people can engage with brands and their favorite TV shows. So the mobile isn't actually treated as an entertainment platform and so bright. So things I'll talk about today, the usual fashion, the problem with advertising and the second screen. Uh, our solution, how we solve that problem. Our platform and how we deliver that solution. Our business model, obviously how we monetize that. And uh, finally the team, I guess one of our part of Serendip and that kind of thing. Uh, so, the problem with advertising, as I just talked about, we live in a world uh, where the world of digital advertising is broken. We've all been searching the web and delivered video ads or banner advertisements uh, on various websites uh, that aren't relevant to us. We know we've all been on YouTube and we've all had that pretty well advert that we can't skip. This has obviously seen a rise in ad blocking. Uh, so much so that mobile operators like 3 are actually bringing out uh, ad blocking software onto their networks as standard. So it's quite clear that brands need to speak to their customers in new ways. Uh, as we've also been uh, talking to potential clients, uh, they're also having a lot of trouble reaching out to their customers through the various channels that are out there, whether that's YouTube, whether that's Facebook or Twitter, streaming live or with uh, on-demand content. So there's a point of fragmentation where people can't actually uh, reach the audiences that they want to. And we believe that that's through one platform and entertainment content that's opt-in, uh, as opposed to being an advert that's delivered out to you without your consent. So, coming on to that, we believe that the two worlds between advertising and the secretary can actually converge. So we can mix advertising with entertainment to put through the mobile platform to get over this issue. We create TV content that audiences will love, so it's, it's opt-in content marketing, as opposed to having to chuck people out ads that they don't want. Why didn't you make an entertainment program that people will like? We know that 78% of the people done in a recent survey uh, actually said that they would enjoy content that was produced by a brand, as long as it was valuable to them. You know, what's valuable? Can they buy something? Can they buy a product? Can they share that really easily? Is it fun? Is it fun to engage with? So obviously, by creating TV content, you know that you're actually going to have a better chance of engaging your fans and your brand advocates than you would through the current forms of digital advertising. So in doing that, we actually redefine what engagement means. Uh, we create and distribute bespoke TV content, keeping audiences 100% engaged in that brand's world. So we've actually built a platform that has a few USBs, uh, social video player and e-commerce. Um, so, through our platform, a problem that we've had is obviously if you're streaming something live through BBC iPlayer or something, and they're saying, why don't you tweet us? If you're on the go, you actually have, you wanted to tweet them, you have to leave the mobile platform, go to Twitter, find the account, type something out, and then once you've actually done all that, you go back to the iPlayer app or whatever uh, platform it is, and you've actually missed about five minutes of the show. For us, we can actually do put all that social integration in app. 
so you can share live, even with the live stream, or once you come back to the platform, you haven't missed a beat. Um, video player, that ties into our video player USB, in that even if you leave the app and if you go off and you have press on top hotspots and you go and watch more content on YouTube and affiliate marketing sites and so on, you always come back to the entertainment content, so that's the focal point of it. Um, and also finally, our e commerce options, we have uh, hotspots to be put through our content that will enable people, let's say, if you're watching a music show, you can be able and they can buy tickets to that next concert, or if they're watching a travel show, they can buy their next ticket to um, their next holiday. So, all, all in app, all encouraging engagement and impulse purchases. So, we have three ways of monetization. Um, our production premium, very standard, 10% of the production. CPTM, which is quite exciting, this is entirely new for the advertising industry, it's called cost per thousand minutes. And that means instead of having a marketing budget that says we'll charge X amount of money for X amount of eyeballs, we say only pay us if we get the eyeballs. Yeah? Only, only pay us if we get enough people 